Hey, campers, guess what? <laughs> yeah. Up in all number nine. Let's go do some damage. Been a while since I played with an op and all. You know, this guy. The whole number nine thing. Wonderful knives. I have this one here, which I've been playing with already. You know, I've been doing the whole blade series on my op and all number nines that I have. Modifying them a little wee bit. Playing with them, always a good fun project. Got up this morning and I thought, I know what I can do. This. California clip, if you like. The Turkish clip. Got the basics going here. Need to do some damage to the handle and then clean this all up. Let's go do it. So like I said, you can see here, I've got the clip going. Now this is the basics. I just use a Dremel to get the rough idea. But what I want to do is I want to change the handle up. As you can see, I've taken a chunk out of here. You can see how deep the, the blade is in there. That gives me a lot to play with here. Dark wood again on the back and give it a nice cool so that when I have to do the tap because I've got no way to grab it, we'll have this clip and the handle maybe coming down in a shape like that. So, let's see if we can do it. See how the grain runs this way on this piece of wood? Kind of unfortunate, but which limits it this way. You've got to keep the grain the same direction. So half the, the handle needs to change. Beautiful day today, blue skies, sun is shining, it's 32 degrees, yeah, we're going to be running out of time in the workshop soon, winter cometh. <laughs> So after going through a whole bunch of stuff, monsterizing my opinol here, I forgot to press record. <laughs> I got it, as you saw, I got as far as uh, thinking about putting in some inserts to give a trickler. It, it is a French knife. <laughs> so I thought I'd put the trickler in. One of the reasons was the piece of uh, red oak that I have. It's very short. The grain runs on the short side. And I thought I had enough, but nope, it was too short. So I had to make some adjustments on the fly. I struggled with it. It took me about four hours to figure it out. 
and I'm at the po at the point right now where I'm trying to clean it up and hopefully <laughs> I can get something out of this here it is here and as you can see it's kind of ugly right now so we persist you would think I would learn and plan ahead I tend to do things on the fly hopefully this is gonna work Okay, so here it is here, that's where I'm at right now. And I still need to shape the handle. I've got the basic shape that I was looking for here. And what I have to be careful of is how I shape this. Although the blade isn't finished, this clip here is a little bit too far up. It should be a little bit lower down and it's really close here. What to do with the handle? How much do I want to change? So there we are there so far.
So I, here it is here, and I, I've gone about as far as I can with it. I've tried to clean it up as much as I can using a very fine sandpaper. Um, I've still got to polish the blade, do something with the wood, and I'm trying to decide if I just want to put linseed oil on or actually put a, a, a couple of coats of acrylic on it. Here you can see it. And uh, the blade got that long clip, which is uh, what I was looking for. I wanted that clip and I wanted the, uh, the Oppenal label on it. boss doing her safety inspection So there you are. finally finished it. <laughs> this was a tough one. I chose the clip, which is not my favorite blade, but it's part of what blades are out there. And that's what I'm aiming for is to make an op and all with just about every blade shape you can think of. This California clip, it has that long, deep uh, clip on it. It's not your regular uh, clip. Took a lot of work to get this looking reasonably rounded off and then bringing it to that point without it sticking up. I had to, initially I had it too far up. So I had to clean that up. The handle was a challenge. Um, <laughs> it took a lot of work. I actually did it like three times because it kept coming apart. Uh, keeping it together, putting the pins in and getting it right was a real challenge. 
But we finally got there. I put three divots on the back. No particular reason. I have the tricolor there and then the dark uh, lines in the handle and just used uh, boiled linseed oil. Um, I may put some acrylic on it. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that goes. It did it sharpened up nicely. You saw the test. So there you go. The lock works very well. No problem there. And it sits in there. No points sticking out. So we good. You've got a plenty to grip on here. So uh, that tightness shouldn't be too much of a problem. If not, you've got plenty of room to give it the optional tap. So... <laughs> Made a sheath for it. Um, I'm doing this with most of my opinals now, and that is it has the neck knife option, so you can hang it from your neck if you choose to do that or put it on a belt. Not going to affect anything. This fits in there nicely. It sits just fine. It's in there tight. And, of course, you've got the water drip. Stitching is getting a lot better. Um, keeping it reasonably straight, still learning, a lot of practice, but there we are. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. It was a long video, sorry, didn't know how to get around it. I spent about three days on it, actually, fighting with this. <laughs> Fun projects. I love working on these things, always a challenge for me, and I feel pretty good when I'm done not 100%, but I'm getting there. Eventually, I'll make the perfect mod for me anyway. <laughs> Just say, thanks for watching. And you all be safe out there. See you again soon.